Today the topic of discussion is one of the very very important sorting technique known as insertion sort. So we are going to discuss this sorting very very clearly. Let's understand the sorting insertion sort. Let's see the definition. The definition says insertion sort is a simple sorting algorithm that works similar to way you sort playing cards in your hands. You must have played a card. I assume that you all have played a card. So what do you generally do? You start sorting a card the moment you get the card the array is virtually split into sorted and unsorted part here the array is actually divided into two parts one part one deck is uh, unsorted at the moment you start picking the card from the deck you start keeping it sorted so actually the array is in two parts one is sorted and one is unsorted values from the unsorted part are picked and placed at the correct position in the sorted part let's see the image then you will get the correct answer okay see the image clearly showing that two four five card are already sorted and after that even 10 is also sort, sorted at random you pick the card from a deck and your card number is seven now what you will do you will shift 10 and insert in between what in between 5 and 10 what 7 so this is where you are inserting a card just because of this technique it is known as what insertion short so let's see the procedure or let's see the steps steps in insertion short so here it's a beautiful step few elements are there 6 5 3 1 8 7 2 5 is compared with 6 5 is smallest then it will shift and 6 will take place now 3 is selected 3 will compare with 6 5 since 3 is the smallest among both of the element 3 will come in front now 1 is picked 1 will compare with 6 with 5 with 3 since it's smallest from all the 3 1 will be at first place now 8 is selected it will compare with 6 so no need to change now 7 is selected okay then it clearly shows that 7 will come in between 6 and 8 now 2 is selected it will compare with 8 7 6 5 3 but with 1 it's greater then it will come between 1 and 3 okay see you can see now 4 is selected okay then 4 will compare with 8 then 7 then 6 then 5 then oh 3 since 3 is smaller than 4 will come in place so this was all about okay so let's see the insertion sort algorithm so this is the insertion sort algorithm there are 10 steps okay so i'll explain you each and every steps very clearly and you will really appreciate the efforts of mine okay there are 10 ste steps one is function insertion sort uh, uh, where array is passed and as an argument this array is unsorted array then we uh, you know uh, took some variable known as j and i and item they all the variables are integer variable then we uh, have one loop uh, which is starting from 2 to length of a why from 2 if we consider our array is starting from 1 then we always know that the first element is always sorted so we'll start our sorting algorithm from 2 then then what is taking place I'll, I'll explain you by the procedure let's start okay let's suppose this is an array a where some element are there 11 8 6 1 9 2 okay let's start okay so this is an array and let me let me write an index over here this is first index okay sorry this is first index this is second index third fourth fifth and sixth in first position there is 11 and in second position there is 8 then 6 then 1 then 9 and then 2 okay so what we are doing let's start from this place from this place for, for i is equal to 2 so uh, the value of i is starting from i'm writing i is starting from 2 okay what we are doing i'm i'm selecting item uh from a2 i is to a2 then item value will be item i'm writing over here item item will contain a2 a2 is 8 then 8 will come over here in item j is equal to i minus 1 i is 2 then j will be j will be i minus 1 that is 1 okay so now we have three elements let me write it very clearly for you let me write it very clearly for you then i is 2 item contains 8 and j contains i minus 1 that is what 
one now see the second loop repeat while j is greater than zero yes j is greater than zero condition true and item 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 contains eight item is less than a j j is what one item is less than a one yes item is this item is less than a one okay then this condition is also true when both the condition are true then we'll move inside then what we'll do will shift a j plus one j is what one one plus one two we'll put a two we'll put a1 in a2 then a1 j is 1 a1 in a2 so we'll put a1 a1 that is 11 in a2 then what will happen here 11 will come now what happens here 11 will come 11 now what will happen will decrease decrease j by minus 1 then what will happen j will come to 0 again this loop will check since j is not greater than 0 now so condition will become false and will come out of loop and the out the outer condition is the outer statement is a j plus 1 j is what 0 0 plus 1 is what a 1 and I'll put a 1 item item in a 1 item is what item is 8 so I'll put 8 over here so have you seen that the element is now 8 11 6 1 9 2 that is first two element are sorted okay let's move further okay now we have another step let's start okay then what will happen since it will go again on the top okay and will it, it will increment i to what three now i will become three what will i do item will contain a3 a3 is what a3 is six so i'm, I'm copying this element over here 11 8 11 6 1 9 2 and now I have selected a3 this element I have selected this element okay so item contain a3 a3 is what 6 then item will have 6 and j will have i minus 1 i is what 3 3 minus 1 is what 2 okay then can again 2 is greater than 0 yes 2 is greater than 0 item item is what 6 6 is less than a2 6 yes 6 is less than a2 condition is again true then what will happen a j plus 1 a2 plus 1 a3 i'll insert a2 in a3 a2 in a3 then what will happen this 11 will come over here again what happened j is equal to j minus 1 then j will reduce to 1 again it will move up since 1 is greater than 0 yes now condition is again true and item item is again 6 item is less than a1 item 6 is less than a1 yes 6 is less than a1 what i'll do i'll put a1 plus 1 i'll put a2 i will put a1 in a2 so a1 i'll put a1 in a2 then a1 will come over here and a1 will now have 8 again what will happen j will reduce to j minus 1 then what happened j goes to 0 again it will go up and can check the condition since j is now not greater than 0 condition false and will come out of the loop and this is statement get executed a j plus 1 j is now 0 0 plus 1 is what 1 1 in in a1 we are putting item item is what 6 so in a1 when we are putting item then it comes 6 over here so finally 6 8 11 the three element starting three element are sorted now again what will happen again it will go up it will increase the value of i to 4 okay and item now let me make one array for you now 6 8 11 1 9 2 now item is what a4 a4 is what one i am selecting this a4 a4 so item is now one okay item is one okay sorry okay then j is what i minus one i four minus one is what three okay then comes three is greater than zero yes three is greater than zero item item is what one one is less than a3 yes one is less than a3 condition true then what we'll do we'll put a3 in a4 see this now three plus one four so we'll put a3 in a4 a3 in a4 then what a3 a3 in a4 then 11 will come over here okay then what will happen j will reduce to j minus one that is three minus one it will comes Two. now again two is greater than zero yes two is greater than zero item item is again one item is less than a2 what is there in a2 eight yes item is again 
8 is yes 1 is less than 8 okay condition again true then what we'll do i'll put a 3 i'll put a 2 in a 3 i'll put a 2 in a 3 a 2 in a 3 then 8 will come over here okay then j will reduce to 1 j will reduce to 1 j will become 1 will go up again and we'll check 1 is greater than 0. Yes, 1 is greater than 0. Item. Item is still having 1. 1 is less than 1 is less than A1. What is there in A1? 6. Yes, 1 is less than A1. Yes, condition true. Then we'll go inside and what we'll do? We'll put A1 in A2. We'll put A1 in A2. Then we'll put A1 in A2. Then what happens? 6 will come over here. Okay. Then J will reduce to J minus 1. 1 minus 1 is what? 0. Again, we'll go up and check the condition. J is greater than 0? No. Now, J is not greater than 0. What will happen? It will come out of the loop and then A0 plus 1. A0 plus 1 is what? A1. I'll put A1 item. Item in A1. Then item is what? 1. I'll put 1 over here and see the beauty. First four element are sort sorted. 1, 6, 8, 9, 11. Okay. Then what will happen? It will again go up and it will increase the value of i to what 5 till where it will go it will go till length of a and length of a is what 6 it will go till 6 we have already reached 5 what happened then item will what what item will contain a5 what is there in a5 a5 there is 9 then there will be 9 so let me make a array for you this array let me copy 1 6 8 11 and 9 i am now selecting this 9 and 2 is also there okay so again what i'll do item contain 9 then j will contain i minus 1 5 minus 1 will be what 4 okay okay that's beauty okay so let let me rub this all for you j is greater than 0 yes 4 is greater than 0 item item is what 9 let me write 9 9 is less than a4 9 is less than a4 yes 9 is less than a4 then what i'll do i'll put a5 plus j plus 1 that is a4 plus 1 i will put a4 in a5 i'll put a4 in a5 then what will happen 11 will come over here i'll reduce j to j minus 1 j will become 3 i'll again go up in this loop while loop i'll check 3 is greater than 0 yes 3 is greater than 0 item item is 9 9 is less than a3 9 9 is, what is there in a3 8 no no condition rim falls 9 is not less than a3 a3 is 8 okay then since condition is false we'll go outside the loop then we'll what well will will operate this instruction okay we'll execute this instruction then a j plus 1 what is j 3 3 plus 1 is what 4 i'll put item in a4 item what is there in item 9 i'll put item over here and see the beauty 9 come over here okay then what you have seen 1 6 8 9 11 5 element are already sorted now what will happen it will go up again and it will increment i to 6 the last value okay good i'll put what item i'll, I'll put in item a6 what is there in a6 okay let me copy one again 1 6 8 9 11 and 2 i'm copying this element okay so what is there in a6 a6 contains 2 then item will contain 2 what is there will be j minus j j i minus 1 6 minus 1 there will be 5 okay fine okay 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 let me rub it okay j is greater than 0 yes 5 is greater than 0 condition true item what is item 2 2 is less than a5 yes definitely 2 is less than a5 you know a5 there is 11 yes it's less than a5 then what will happen i'll put what j is 5 i'll put a5 i'll put a5 in a6 so when i'll put a5 in a6 then what will happen this 11 will come over here okay then what will happen okay let me rub it for you then what will happen j will reduce to 1 j will come to j will come to 4 that is from i'll write like this 5 to 4 okay 4 is greater than yes 4 is greater than 0 item item is again having 2 item is less than a4 what is there in a4 9 yes 2 is less than 9 yes condition again true what i'll do i'll put a5 i'll put a4 in a5 i'll put what a4 a4 in a5 then i'll put a4 in 5 what will happen 9 will come over here okay then what will happen j will reduce to 1 when j will reduce to 1 j will be 3 
okay then what i'll check again 3 is greater than 0 yes 3 is greater than 0 item again having 2 2 yes 2 is less than a3 what is there in a3 what is now let me rub this for you okay 2 is less than a3 what is there in a3 8 yes 2 is less than 8. Yes. Condition 2. Then what I'll put do? I'll what I'll do? I'll I'll insert A3 in A4. I'll insert A3 in A4. What will happen then? 8 will come over here. Okay. And then J2, J minus 1. J will reduce to 2. Okay. I'll again go up and check 2 is greater than 0. Yes, 2 is greater than 0. Item. What is item? Item is again having 2. Item. 2 is less than A2. What is there in A2? 6. There in, what is there in A2? A2 contains 6. Yes, 2 is less than 6. Yes, condition true. I'll go inside. I'll What I'll do? I'll put A2 in A3. I'll put A2 in A3. So, A2 in A3 will what happen? A2 in A3, then what will happen? 6 will go here. Then what will happen? 6 will go here. Okay, fine. Then J will reduce to 1. To 1. I'll go up again. 1 is greater than 0. Yes, 1 is greater than 0. Okay. Item. Item is again having 2. Item is less than A1. Since J value is 1. Item is less than 1. I, A, what is there in A1? What is there now in A1? A1 is having 1. No, no. 2 is not less than 1. Condition becomes false. So, I will not execute these statement. I will simply execute. I will go out. I will simply execute this statement. A, J plus 1. What is J? J is 1. 1 plus 1 is what? 2. I will put item in A2. So, I'll put item in A2. What is A2? This place, I'll put item. What is item 2? So, I'll put 2 here and see the beauty. The element is now sorted. So, okay. So, let me write the sorted element once again. 1, 2, 6, 8, 9, 11 and see the beauty. The element are sorted. Hope you understood what I'm talking about. So, this was all about insertion sort.